sorry I've been away. <laughs> been at MIA with the hubby. Um, so this is Wednesday's wedding. Um, so we're going to do this card. And it's... I've used these dies. Okay, I think you'd all know who they're from. Okay. <laughs> But you can totally do this without the dies. I have the dies because, as I say, this was what I used to do before I was with Stampin' Up! And I'm still with Stampin' Up! Um, but I wanted to bring you affordable ways to do your invitations or your special cards and stuff, you know? Um, so I've got all my bits and pieces, <laughs> as we do. Um, so I've used them dies. I've also used a embossing folder, the rose one, from the same company. Okay. And what I've done is I've used Medicard Silver. I've used Silver, the non-sheddable glitter card, because I don't think the recipient would thank you very much for getting covered in glitter. So I used the non-sheddable. And also because I can't stand touch of glitter. <laughs> Rough glitter anyway. So as you can see, I've took mine down in sizes. I've used three different sizes. Um, so I've took them down about a quarter of an inch all the way round um, between the sizes. Um, so I've used the middle card, I've used the glitter card, and I've used pale card Okay, for my top. Um, and all I'm going to do is stick them down in the middle. Just put a bead of glue down the middle. Um, oops, it's coming out rather thicker than what I wanted. Um, let me see if I can spread it out a bit. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> And we're just going to lay that on. Get your folds lined up. Don't forget, once that glue is dry, if you do go over it a little bit, you can always use a sand eraser or one of the glue erasers. You know, one of these. Um, so don't be worrying about that. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on the centre. We just want that um, stuck down. And again, we're going to do the same here, but just not as much. <laughs> These can also be used for, they're good for christenings, um, communions, um, anniversary cards even. Entirely up to you. And all I've done is, once I've cut, die cut my, my cardstock, I've just, you know me, I don't like anything flat, so I give it a little <laughs> wiggle. So we'll put that third layer on. Okay, our top layer. And I say don't worry about that glue, because we can always rub it off. And again, you do want a strong adhesive because um, you don't want none, none of your bits falling off. So I went ahead and cut out all my bits and pieces. making sure I've got them all. <laughs> um, I took out, cut out two leaf um, vines and they're going to go on the side there and there. Okay, so we're going to put them there and there. Do you know what I did want to do before that, that actually sticks down? Hang on a minute, back it up. 
before that actually sticks I just want to put some ribbon now what I would do um, ahead of time which I never got time to do is I would foil that ribbon now because we can all do our foiling at home now <laughs> I'm just putting a bit of strong glue on there. Strong tape rather. Because that's going to become our bookmark. Okay. So again, just attach it in the centre. <laughs> Because what I done, the, the dies don't actually crease down the centre, okay? So I just took mine once I cut them out and folded them in half and then give them a little um, and you'll be grand. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to take my leaf vines and put them on on the sides. So just a couple of little dabs of glue. I don't want this spilling out all over my card. My boys are getting groomed at the minute, so if you hear a lot of whinging and barking, that's what's happening. Because <laughs> they don't like getting it done, but unfortunately they look like nobody owns them at the minute. So don't think I'm, you know, beating them up or anything. <laughs> I'm not, honestly. Um, it was just too cold, so we kept putting it off and putting it off. And then they've got to the point where you just can't put it off no more. <laughs> Just carry on. Now, have you seen the table coming out and they're all scarped? Because <laughs> they know what's going to happen next. I have two Shih Tzus in the Westie. Um, for those that didn't know, I am an animal lover. I mean, I even go out and feed hedgehogs and wild rabbits and let's not even go down that road. <laughs> this glue really doesn't take that long. This is the that glue. Um, I do try and use my really good glues when I am doing, you know, cards for people or invitations, wedding invitations or anything. Um, you know, you don't want your bits and bobs falling off. So, yeah. Okay, and I made a double ribbon. Um, not on camera. Because <laughs> bows are not something I can do when I'm being filmed. <laughs> it's painful to watch. It really is. And I just stuck um, one of the little doodads in there. I'll show you in a minute. You can't really see from up there. But you can pick these up online um, on the cheap shops for really pennies. And again, it doesn't want to stick. Get me strong glue. Strong tape, should I say. I think with ribbons and bows and stuff, you're better off using your red line tape. 
even if you go over it with um, glue just to give it that extra so yeah that's what I've used in the centre and as I say you can pick them up really cheap um, now I've got me Mr and Mrs cut out of me um, I was going to put that frame there and put Mr and Mrs on there um, should I still do that do you think I think we'll still do that it just breaks up that background a bit and gives you another layer Oops. you can use foam tape for this you know it's entirely up to you how dimensional you want your card this I would um, box I wouldn't put it in an envelope I would box it because of all the different dimensions on it it would definitely go in a box you know you'll find your way but this is really easy card to make and I think it has that little bit of a you know a wow because I know when I've done ones um, for christenings and stuff I've put like lace you know around the edges and um, really dressed it up sort of thing um, same with newborn baby one I've really gone to town with the lace and you know if you're on my Facebook then you've probably seen pictures of the baby ones that I've done and Our Mister and our Missus. My God, the dogs are being really good. <laughs> I'm sure you've got alphabet dies. If not, you've probably got a um, silhouette or a scan and cut. And you could probably um, cut your book shapes out on that as well. Hope everybody had a lovely Valentine's Day. I know I've not spoken to you all since then, have I? Um, I got a hundred red roses delivered. So we've got our Mr. and Mrs. This part now. <coughs> excuse my cough still won't, haven't got rid of it um, on this cardstock you can send it through your printer and print it so I would print either a little verse or you know your message that you want to send to the recipient before you cut it out and um, stick it down if you feel your handwriting's not you know up to anything and you can even do it on do your writing on your silhouette and your scan and cut um, they all have um, pen doodars with them now I'm a klutz I bought the little pens that go in the cameo I bought a set of, I think it's 24 and I went and bought the universal pen holder as well when there was no need to because the silhouette, the cameo 
pens fit in the holder already so I'm clot, I know. So that's stuck down. Now we've got our fiddledy bits here that I took out for the top. I would normally use tweezers for fiddly bits. My fingers are not really Yeah, so the poor dogs will be getting walked now in their coats. <laughs> their winter coats. If you see them on the beach, three dogs with coats on, they're mine. <laughs> Now I personally, I got out my gems, but I personally don't think that needs any more, to be honest with you. It would help if that was straight, wouldn't it? Okay. And there you go. Easy as that. As I say, if you have one of your cut machines, um, you could probably find the um, the book layers in either the um, Cameo Shop or Silhouette Studio or the um, Scan and Cut Canvas. Just look for book because um, that's all the dies are called is book. And just cut yourself out three layers. I've, as I say, I embossed the pearl um, with the rose embossing. But determined on what, what you're going to use the card for, you could emboss it for, you know, something different. Um, mine is just a wedding card. And as I say, you can probably find them on your Scan and Cut Canvas or your Silhouette Studio and whatever. And just decorate it how you would. Um... So yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this series. Next week is going to be another um, invitation style. Um, and I'm going to do the RSVP and the menu and all to go with it. This was just because someone messaged me and she was saying, you know, her son was getting married and she'd use these colours for his engagement card and all. So I thought, well, I'll give her some ideas for a wedding card. Um, so that's why this come about. Um, probably either tomorrow or Friday um, will be another Stampin' Up! Um, card. Under my Stampin' Up! videos you will always find a link to my shop um, and always in the top right hand corner as well on all of my videos you will find a link to my shop. Um, if you would like to join our team, you can click on that link, which will take you to my shop, and then click on Join the Fun. Um, and when you first sign up, you will instantly, I think, it's get 20% off your orders um, after your initial starter pack. And then you will get, um, as you progress to like Bronze Elite and Qualified and what have you, you know, that goes up 25% and what have you. So it's worth giving it, a, 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 you know, I think 
But this was how I started my love of card making and all, was wedding invitations and what have you. So, you know, I'm glad to share it with you and hopefully save you some pennies. Um, so, yeah. So, tomorrow or Friday will be um, another Stampin' Up! set. So, take care all and take care of each other and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye.